Hi, my name is Colin Warren. I'm with Elite Construction Equipment. Today we're going to be talking about drive speeds on a JLG boom lift. Here we have the control panel, upper control panel for our JLG 660SJ. Um, on the, our engine powered machines, we actually have three modes of drive speed. So you can see on this switch up here, we have our flat ground and our rabbit. That is the fastest the machine will be able to drive. In the middle switch, we have our turtle and flat ground. So this is going to be um, slow speed, but for flat ground. And on the very bottom, we have our rabbit and it's on a hill. This is gonna give us our max torque to our drive motors. It's gonna be a middle of the road speed. It's where I actually like to drive the machine on. It's a very comfortable speed to operate. But if you're on a hilly environment or rough terrain, it's really gonna give you your, your best option in terms of torque to the drive motors. Beyond the switch, the only other two ways to control the speed of the machine is with your proportional drive joystick controller and our rheostat knob. The rheostat knob generally just controls the speed of the functions that fall under this finger. But if we turn the knob all the way to the left and you will feel it click, it will put the whole machine in creep mode. This includes drive speed. So be the slowest the machine can possibly drive at full speed but your main one is you're gonna be your proportional joystick. And when I say proportional, I'm talking like, think about your gas pedal. As much play as you give the joystick is how much the machine is going to respond. So if you want a little bit of movement, just give the joystick a little bit of play. If you want full speed, then give the joystick full play in either direction, forward or reverse, to give you the maximum amount of drive speed available to you. Always remember that this is a foot switch machine. So whenever we have a foot switch or a dead man switch, your foot has to be on it in order for these functions to operate. The moment you take your foot off of that foot switch, all hydraulic functions will stop and they will stop right now. If you're panicking and you want to stop, but not nearly as abrupt as taking your foot off of the foot switch, you can always keep your foot on the foot switch and let go of the joystick and the machine will ramp down. It will take over and bring you to a nice and steady stop. Still very abrupt, but not nearly as abrupt as taking your foot off of that foot switch. But always remember, it's in your hand. Your movement is always controlled with this joystick and you're the operator. On the top right of your control panel, this is your drive lockout. So when the machine is oriented in the right direction, so your black arrow is pointed forward and your white arrow is pointed backwards, the machine is, the boom is in line with the frame. The moment you spin the boom around, because we are on a 360 degree turntable, your controls are gonna become flipped. So backwards will become forwards and forwards will become backwards. The machine wants to make sure that you are aware of this change. So once you spin the boom around, you will notice that your drive is locked out. It will no longer allow you to drive. You're gonna to have to keep your, put your foot on the foot switch and hit this switch one time, acknowledging to the machine, I know my controls are flipped, and then it will allow you to drive the machine forward and backwards. But keep in mind, once you're turned around, your controls are flipped, and backwards is now forwards, and forwards is now backwards. I'm going to demonstrate the three modes of drive speed. Um, we're going to start out with the fastest the machine can go. Now I'm going to start out in high speed and then I'm going to switch to turtle. And now I will go from turtle to rabbit, but with our high torque. So our middle of the road speed. I'm gonna go back to rabbit and I'm gonna show you the difference between keep it, lifting up my foot off of the foot switch and just letting go of the joystick. So I'm gonna start off first with lifting my foot off of the joystick. You're gonna see the hydraulic motors lock up and the machine come to a really abrupt stop. Now I'm gonna get up to high speed and I'm just gonna take my, keep my foot on the foot switch but let go of the joystick. Much less abrupt. The other feature on this machine is it has a angle cutout. 
or a drive speed cutout. So when the machine breaks a certain point as it goes up, it's gonna cut the drive speed to keep us safe. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and then I will drive forward and boom up until we hit that cutout. There, we hit the drive speed cutout. Now I'm gonna put the machine in, in turtle mode and then I'm gonna throw it into creep mode so you can see the difference there. Now the machine is in creep mode. So this is the slowest that it'll drive at full play of the joystick. I'll take it out of creep. You can see the engine, the speed pick up a little bit. And then I can go ahead and put it in a rabbit. If you're ever looking for telehandler or MUPE training, Elite is the place for you. We have a very nice classroom set up for everyone to enjoy their classroom session, as well as a plethora of machines you can see here in my yard for everyone to use during our hands-on session. Again, thank you for choosing Elite Construction Equipment.